Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali and I am determined to motivate you to declutter, simplify, and organize your home one tiny and tidy step at a time. Today's video was highly requested by my Instagram followers. If you're new here, make sure to follow me over on Instagram. That's where I share daily tips and tricks all about decluttering, organizing, and cleaning. We're a family of five living in an 850 square foot condo. So it turns out that people are really interested in how we make it work in this small space. Now I know that there are people living in much smaller homes in cities like New York and Hong Kong, but in Toronto it isn't as common. But since real estate prices are pretty high in the city, more and more families are resorting to living in smaller spaces. I've been living in a small space since my university days, and let me tell you, there are a lot of positives to doing so. However, it took a lot of research and work in order to make the space comfortable for my family and I, and had we not discovered minimalism, I don't think we'd still be living here. Anyway, back to what my followers requested. They wanted me to do a home tour. Since it's a small space, don't expect to see an episode of Cribs or anything. Our home is simple and nothing really to brag about, but we love it here and I'm excited to show all of you how we furnish and organize this condo to make it work for us. All right, so let's get started on this short and sweet home tour. So first off, when you walk in through the main door, there's a guest bathroom to the left. It's a three-piece bathroom with a bathtub, which is perfect for bathing the kids. I really wanted a mudroom, as I mentioned in this video, so I created my version of a mudroom in the main hall. Right here is a coat closet, and over to the right is our laundry closet. Next is our fairly small kitchen. We added this cabinet for extra storage, so this is our pantry. Next is the den. Luckily, there was a door on this den, so we were able to use it as a nursery for baby Josh. We also have a cabinet in here for additional storage, and behind that curtain, there's a space for more storage. Now, if you wanna see behind that curtain and inside our closets and cabinets, stick around till the end of this video, and I'll tell you how you can see behind these closed doors. Next is Kian and Nisha's shared bedroom slash playroom. If you want to know more about how I organized their room, check out this video. I really went into detail explaining how I created their unisex shared bedroom in that video. This is our living room slash playroom. Since we don't have the space for a playroom, we had to create a living room that also acts as a playroom. You'll notice that there isn't a coffee table or dining table. The thing with living in a small space is that you have to give up things that you don't use regularly. We can definitely manage without those two things, so they had to go and we figured out alternatives. We have this folding table on wheels if we ever need a larger table. And we also have folding chairs hanging on this wall in case we need some extra seating. And two of our most used pieces of furniture are these kids tables and chairs. If you wanna know more about how I organized our playroom slash living room, check out this video. Next is our master bedroom. We have a queen size bed. I wish we could have a king size bed since the kids love getting into bed with us, but unfortunately it wouldn't be too tight in here, so we decided to stick with a queen size bed. We also had to use creative storage solutions in here, like under the bed storage, slim shoe storage cabinets that we use for clothing, and tall slim cabinets as well. Our bed feels just like a luxury hotel bed. So if you're wondering how I managed to recreate a hotel bed in our home, there's a link in the description box down below that will bring you to that video. This is the closet that my husband and I share. In order for all of our stuff to fit in here, we had to create capsule wardrobes. If you wanna know more about that process, check out this video. Lastly, this is our master bathroom. I really wish it had a double sink because this is where we all brush our teeth and wash our faces in the morning. But apart that, it's fairly large and totally works for us. We also have a very long and narrow balcony, which is great for sitting out on during the warmer months. So there you have it guys, that's my short and sweet home tour. Earlier, I asked you to stick around till the end if you wanted to see what's behind my closet doors and that secret curtain in the den. Well, in the description box down below, you'll see a link to my Patreon page. Simply click on that link and it'll take you to a video where I've shared those juicy details. If you've enjoyed this home tour, hit that like button so that all know that you want to see more videos like this one. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram because that's where I share daily tips and tricks all about organization, saving time, and simplifying your life. 
Next week, I'm gonna be doing a video all about storage containers. I have quite a few in my home, so I figured it would be useful to share a video all about the pros and cons of some of these storage containers. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. Are you overwhelmed and just can't find the time to get organized? Well, I'm working on a program called Clear the Clutter that will help you get organized step by step. If you're interested in learning how to organize your entire home, implement organization systems that actually work, learn how to meal plan, create a detailed home maintenance and cleaning schedule, then sign up on the wait list for my Clear the Clutter program. The link is in the description box down below. And once the program launches, you will be notified and provided with more information. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with someone that you know would find it useful. And if you like this video, be sure to check out one of these ones. They're full of tips and tricks that will help you get more organized. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!